Today I've been experimenting with this 8825 stepper motor controller circuit board and I've, I like it I have to say it uh, handles a lot more power than the last one I did it's a lot easier to use uh, a little bit more wiring but overall it's, it's just a simpler to program and so forth uh, connected to a Raspberry Pi of course and there's our stepper motor and the power supply in the back and we'll go over each of those components we'll start out with the hardware and then go to the software this is our stepper motor. It's 12 volt, degrees 7.5, coils 27, and that's pretty much it. It's got four wires. Blue and brown is one pair, and yellow and orange are the other, and we'll see those again in a second. The wires run over here to the connector, and I've used the uh, Raspberry Pi jumper set, and tried to stick with roughly the same color wires, but I didn't have a brown. So I used blue and green. It's hard to tell, but this outside one is the green and the inside one is the blue yeah. and they run down here let's get a close up of that so our stepping motor runs in here to this 8825 chip the first wire here is a ground and that'll be pin 1 pin 2 is a fault and I'm not using that and the next one the next four are the stepping motor wires again roughly using the same colors so you have one two three four so this is one pair the first two are on the left are one pair and the two on the right are another pair on the right side over here we have the power coming in I'm using 10.8 volts but the chip is rated from 8 to 45 if I recall correctly the red wire is positive the black wire is ground and it's the same ground as this ground over here and this is a filter capacitor and this is a capacitor to help uh, buffer uh, sudden voltage spikes and that's pretty much it for pins this is starting on pins 1 through 8 on this side and we'll go over here this side all the wires go over to the Pi that's uh, the destination of them so here on this side of the 8825 chip we have pin 9 which is the enable which I'm not using and then we have 10, 11, 12 which are M0, M1, M2 so those are the addresses for the mode and then we have the reset which is a not reset we have the sleep which is also again a not sleep it's a blue wire the green wire is the step so when we change the setting on the step it moves the uh, stepping motor one step and then the last one over here, pin 16 is the direction, so setting it 0 or 1 changes from counterclockwise to clockwise. And that's it from this side of the 8825 uh, chipboard. These three wires are on the even side, so this is 2, 4, 6, so this will be 8, 10, and 12 and these three pins are the mode, mode 0, 1, and 2 to set the, the stepping mode for the, for the uh, stepping motor and then way back down here this is pin 39, I'm using that as the ground for the uh, logic ground and that goes back to pin 1 on the 8825 board these three wires on the back that I'm holding down, those are the mode wires. So let's talk about these on the on this side, and these are the odd side. So we have one, three, five, seven. Pin seven is the direction that tells us clockwise or counterclockwise. Then we're not using nine, and then eleven is the step pin. So when we send that, when we change that signal, it steps the motor. And then the red wire next to it will be the thirteen, which is not reset and the one next to that is 15 which is the not sleep and we want to hold both of those high if we want the thing to operate so these are the wires on the Pi on the even side this is the power supply I'm using it's set for 10.6 volts uh, because my stepping motor is a 12 volt stepping motor and this is supplying the power for the stepping motor but not the Pi as you know the Pi has its own power supply which is uh, roughly 5 volts 
And this goes over to the 8825. Let's go look at that. So here's where that 10.6 volts comes in, and I have a spike capacitor and a, uh, a buffer capacitor, if you will, for uh, when the motor draws. And that's all there is to it. Comes in on these last two pins. Well, here's the stepping motor. I put a flag on it so we can see what's happening. And back here is the information I need to enter. I could do this by pulling it out of a file. And in fact, I think I'm going to do that next. Uh, so let's start the program running. Run, run module. And there she goes. Uh, I have defaults, so if I just put in uh, default, uh, I put in a zero or a bad number, it will default to uh, the default number. And I've got seven modes, eight modes rather, back here. And the default is the coarsest. And here the default is 7.5 degrees per step. This is a very old stepping motor, so it's uh, yeah 7.5. A lot of the newer ones, the very fine ones, are 0.45. Uh, okay, then rotations, the number of rotations. If I put in a zero, I'll get one full rotation. Uh, the direction, the default is 1, and so if I put in a bad value, it'll automatically default to 1, but let's say counterclockwise. And the speed down here is like a percent between 1% 1, 1 and 100% of total speed, and the default is 50. Uh, we'll put in uh, 0, so it'll default to 50. And then the stepping motor here turned around one full turn. Okay, let's try one more, and then we'll go look at the software. I set this one up in advance, so I'm going to use mode 7, which is the finest step. Uh, then I'm going to I use 7.5, which is the correct uh, degrees per step. And I'm going to do half a rotation, so the flag should end up over here on this side. And it's going to go clockwise. And then the last one down here is 15, so it'll run rather slowly. Okay, let me uh, push the button. Okay, so there's half a turn and you saw it go slower. So that's what the program does. Okay, let's go look at the software.